Hey everyone, so on today's video, I'm gonna do something that I explicitly said that I was not going to do until I heard from somebody from Chaos Code. Well, unfortunately, I still haven't heard from anybody yet, but I'm actually doing you a disservice by not showing you the plugins that are available from their website. So I'm actually gonna be showing you two different plugins from Chaos Code. First one is obviously today, and the next one is obviously gonna be next week. And if you all happen to find it in your heart somewhere to reach out to the gents over at Chaos Code and say, hey, what about this guy that shows off all these plugins, maybe you should hit him up and maybe work out some sort of a deal. A, so that your plugins get more exposure to the world and two, so that maybe we can get a really great deal on some of those plugins because as it stands right now, I don't have any promo codes and I have no way of saving you all any money. So now all of that being said, allow me to introduce you to Dynamic Cup Share. Hey everyone, welcome back to Rust Admin Academy where I teach you everything you need to know about owning and operating a successful Rust server. On this channel, I do plug interviews and tutorials. Plus I wanna show you all of the different tools that are available to make your job just a little bit easier. So if you're brand new to the channel, consider subscribing so that you stay up to date on everything that we're working on. And of course, as always, if you take any value out of this video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up for me. So this is Dynamic Cup Share. It's available from chaoscode.io and I'll put a link to it in the video description down below. So what Dynamic Cup Share does is it basically allows you and all of your friends or all of your clan mates to automatically be authorized on each other's tool cupboards, auto turrets, shotgun traps, locks, doors, everything. So a couple of important things are required in order for this plugin to actually work. So you either need to have the friends API plugin or the clans plugin. Now you can get clans reborn from chaos code and it does work with dynamic cup share, but you can also utilize the one that's free from umod.org. I've tested them both. They both obviously work. As you can see here, it is mentioned in the documentation for dynamic cup share, but it's listed as not tested. I have personally tested it. And the last time I checked it, it did actually work. So right off the bat, if you just install dynamic cup share and you don't have either the friends API plugin or one of the clans plugins, then dynamic cup share basically doesn't have anything to do so it won't actually even compile the plugin. So if you've installed the plugin and you get an error message in your console indicating that the plugin isn't actually loaded, make sure you check that first. It is also worth noting that I do recognize that this plugin is 39 US dollars, which in the grand scheme of things might seem like an incredibly expensive plugin. In fact, off the top of my head, I think it's probably the second most expensive plugin that I utilize on a regular basis. I wish I could tell you that I have a promo code for it to save you a couple of bucks. Unfortunately, this time around, I just don't have it. So once we have the the plugin installed we have to deal with the permissions first as always so let's go into our handy dandy permissions manager and let's go into dynamic cup share so we only have three different permissions that we need to deal with the first one is the auto auth feature so if we want to grant access to the ability of just automatically authorizing anybody that joins our friends list or our clan then we need to have this permission granted now the second two are just dealing with whether we're using friends or clans or both. It's basically just deciding if we want to allow the player to utilize the benefits of granting access to their friends list as well as their clan mates. Once we're done dealing with permissions, of course we can use slash share and that's gonna bring up all of our options for dynamic cup share. So as you can see there, most everything is turned off. So your TC, your doors, all that stuff is turned off. If you wanna be able to grant access to the players that are on your friends list, you have to actually turn each one of these features on. So we can either use cup, door, box, locker, turret, or we can just use the shortened commands C D B L T share C to share our cupboards, share D to share our doors, share B to share our boxes and share T to share our cupboards. So if we just do slash share again, you're going to see all of the features that I've now just turned on and you're going to notice that I left off the ability to share the locker. So maybe you want to set it up so that only you have access to your locker and you don't want to share what's in those lockers to your friends or your clan mates. And obviously just leave that feature turned off and then nobody's going to be able to have access to those items. The obvious benefit to being able to share your tool cupboard is everyone will be automatically authorized to any shotgun traps or flame turrets that are within your base. Plus then they can also have access to the tool cupboard itself to access all of the items that are inside it. The ability to share your access to your tool cupboard is especially useful if you're using a plugin called TC Manager. What TC Manager allows you to do is basically bury your TC somewhere in the base with no door access to it so that you can just use a command to actually access the TC. So you can see it's very beneficial to automatically authorize your friends or clan mates to your TC because it's buried behind a wall somewhere that you don't have access to. So Dynamic Cup Share is a very lightweight plugin, but it is an incredible increase to quality of life. And it pairs really nicely with the plugin that I'm gonna show you all next week. So make sure you stay tuned for that one because if you combine these two plugins together, the quality of life increase to your players is like tenfold. They're gonna love it. So a complete side note going off on a bit of a tangent here. So I'm actually recording this video on October 20th, the same day that Face Punch 
released the Halloween update for 2022. And has anybody else where it comes to actually connecting to your server or even logging into Steam? Like what a brutal thing. I don't understand what happened today, but it took me like six tries just to actually get my game to load tonight. I don't understand what happened. It seems to be running okay right now, but I don't know how long it's going to last for. So before I let you go, like I said earlier, I will be doing another plugin from Chaos Code that pairs really nicely with Dynamic Cup Share. So make sure you've subscribed to the channel so that you get notified when that video goes live. But while you're waiting for next Friday to get here, why don't you check out one of these videos right here, showcasing two other really great plugins that I know you're going to love and your players are going to love it even more. Thanks for watching. I'll see you all next week.